What's up everyone? It's Kanan back with another reaction video. And uh yeah, this is my reaction to uh the newest Final Fantasy 14 patch trailer. Uh this came out 5 days ago and I have avoided it like the plague. Um because <laughs> with our computer issues, I didn't want to see it ahead of time and not be able to react to it for you guys because Starting with Newfound Adventure, I want to react to every trailer leading all the way up to 7.0, which will be the new expansion. So, uh, yeah, to make up for the days we didn't upload, we're going to try and get out a video a day if we can. Um, you know, short videos, nothing too long. The only time I might do a longer video for this will be Sunday's video, which I'll try to have the newest episode of uh, What If Yang Was a Saiyan. Uh, that way, because I'm off on Sunday. Me and Jess both are, are, are off work Sunday. So uh, if I do that Saturday night, it won't be uh, much of a problem if it's a slightly longer video. Um, don't know how long this one will be. Trailer's only uh, 3 minutes and 13 seconds. Um, but this is God's Rebel, Lands Tremble. I believe the patch comes out. January 10th, um, things I'm hoping for, I'm not sure, um, I, um, I loved Buried Memory, I love the new character Zero, she is awesome, um, Yastola so far has been kind of the starring role in the last couple of patches in a way, hopefully she's in this one as well, um, I do know, I think they let it slip, uh, a good while ago that uh, Alphino and Elise would be coming back in this. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, click that like button, leave a comment. Let's get to this uh, reaction going. Sexual themes, partial nudity. Oh, they always say that. Well, that's pretty. At last, the time has come. Okay. What time has come? There's the Windows XP desktop. Okay, we're finding more gods. That's the new set. That's the 12 person raid, the Alliance raid. All right. Very, uh, very Yggdrasil Asgard looking in a way with all the other parts connected to the tree. There they are, Alphano and Elise. Zero's there. Okay, of what course. To us? And with new company besides. <laughs> the 13th. I thought you'd keep your escapades closer to home. For okay. A while. That looks like an interesting oh, boss. So long. Don't disappoint. <laughs> Wait, was that Zero where using a sword and shield? Okay. <coughs> looks like we're going back to Garlemald. The Crystal Tower? Are we going back? Okay. Someone, please. Okay. Zero losing power again. Beautiful music. That looks really pretty. Alliance raids, man. That. Golbez. Oh my gosh, Hildebrand's dad. And forever. The Lopperets, okay. PvP, looks like, yeah. There's Yastola. Well, she's in it for a little bit, maybe at least. Oh, hello. You are awesome looking. <laughs> Is that Golbez talking to us? Love the art. They already showed the art. Yeah, that is the Crystal Tower back there. So the Crystal Tower is coming back in the play. Oh no, not these two. 
I guess that's the next ultimate. Love the music. Final Fantasy has always got great music. Okay. So, Alpha No and Elise are back. Looks like we're going to Garlemald uh, again. Um, so, looks like Yastola is staying behind in this one. But she's in it for at least a little bit. Uh, Yastola will always be the best girl of Final Fantasy XIV. Um, so, it's wild that Golbez right now is being portrayed as the main villain. I don't know if he'll be the main villain of the actual full expansion. Because um, they've talked about how the story currently in the patches is actually going to end in the patches. And then the last part of the patches before the expansion will build the story for the expansion. Um, but it's wild that Golbez and the Four Fiends are the villains right now. Because Endwalker kind of already had a connection to Final Fantasy IV, which is the game that Golbez is the main antagonist of. Um, and the Four Fiends as well. It's been a while since I've played Final Fantasy IV, but um, in Final Fantasy IV, you go to the moon. Uh, the Tower of Babel is a thing in Final Fantasy IV, and that was one of the dungeons in Endwalker. Um, Cecil, the main character, starts off as a Dark Knight, and through Redemption, becomes a paladin. That's what they did with the Warrior of Lot and Shadowbringers. The canon job for Shadowbringers was a Dark Knight. Then the canon job and Inwalker is a paladin. So yeah, they're doing little connections with Final Fantasy IV, which I think is kind of funny. Because um, Final Fantasy IV is regarded by many as one of the better Final Fantasies. But it's also considered one of the shorter games in the series. Um, I really need to do a tier list of uh, Final Fantasy games just because I think it'd be fun. I'd probably make some people mad, but um, <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I wonder what they're going to do with Zero. Because, <laughs> you know, people have already been shipping her with Yastola because of her uh, taking... Uh, <laughs> Aether from her. <coughs> excuse me guys um, Aether from her um, but she also has a connection to the Warrior of Light because she was pretty much Xenos's um, pretty much his avatar when he became a uh, Reaper so she kind of has that connection to the Warrior of Light um, so I hope it's not a case of it. she's eventually going to, like, sacrifice herself or something. I kind of hope she sticks around. She's already proven to be very popular uh, among the fan base. Um, maybe she eventually becomes a Scion. Who knows? Because, um, let's face it, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will reunite by the time the uh, um, expansion comes out. Um, they were I don't think they were ever... They were never going to replace... Alphano, Yastola, Thancred, and all the others. Uh, they would come back together when another big villain showed up that's going to destroy the world, or the universe for this matter. Because <coughs> how do you top Meteon, you know? Um, a being that was literally going to destroy everything. Uh, but Final Fantasy kind of has a way of doing larger-than-life villains like that and topping them eventually. Um... I'm very, you know, was really surprised when Golbez turned out to be the, the actual villain. I kind of had a feeling it was him when he was first introduced in Newfound Adventure. I was like, is that Golbez? Like, really? A, a past Final Fantasy villain they're going to be using? But um, they've done it before. Like, they've mostly done it in raids. They had Kefka. They had X-Death. Um, but this is the first time they've really used an actual past Final Fantasy villain for the actual main story, I believe. I, I believe so. Um, so that's interesting. I would not mind past Final Fantasy villains showing up in fourteen as part of the story. I think it'd be interesting. Um, also, in one of the Alliance raids, they pretty much combined the worlds of Final Fantasy fourteen and twelve. A lot, uh, some of the areas from Final Fantasy twelve exist 
in uh, the world of Final Fantasy XIV. So yeah, no, who knows? Who knows what they will do? But um, yeah, I know. Uh, very very uh, short episode uh, episode video. But wanted to get this recorded real <laughs> quick. Wanted to get a quick video out. Sorry guys, me and Jess are still uh, kind of under the weather. Don't know what Friday's video will be. We'll see what we can make work. Hopefully, I'll get some news on my computer by then. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Click that like button. Leave a comment. As always, guys, this is Kanan. Me and Jess love you all very, very much. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Stay warm. And we will see you in the next one. See ya.